Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding, Tarek El Gindi with the Mr. Olympia. Everybody was wondering if Hassan Mustafa came in on shape, the kind of damage he would do. And the reality is he came in on shape at the Puerto Rico show and he won. He's impressive guys, he has a lot of muscle. And I mean a lot of muscle. I'm gonna put a few shots so you guys can see his back double biceps and his side shots. The key question is, He's going to do two more shows. If he places well or wins one or both shows, then we're really talking about somebody that can get things confused at the Mr. Olympia. Because Hadi Chupan is a short competitor, William Bonac, and this guy might have the same amount of density, if not more. This guy can be the next Branch Warren. The fans love him in the internet, he's got tons of mass. And I think if he's consistent with the conditioning, we could be talking about this guy for years to come. Now in the 212, Osvaldo Gonzalez from Mexico won. He's going to need to add some muscle. Maybe he can get some muscle from Mustafa. And he needs also more detail in his physique. The 212 is tough, so Osvaldo has his work cut out for him. In the classic physique, Emmanuel Ricotti. This guy from Italy, I had not seen him before, but I'll tell you, he's got great separation on the quads, he's got great front double biceps, but his back double biceps is not up to par. He's gonna have to add muscle on that back double biceps, okay? So moving on to men's physique, Clarence McSpadden wins. Tall, athletic physique. Now from the back, he has the muscle, what he's missing is the detail on the back. If he fixes that for the Mr. Olympia, then he can move up. Now let's go for the ladies. Female bodybuilding, Roshana Boswell wins. She's experienced, she's been there multiple times, she hit that back double biceps and she dominated the stage. I give her huge credit because she continues to get better. Now in the women's physique, Claudia Pardo from Mexico wins. She's on point, muscularity and conditioning. What she's gonna have to do is work on her posing to minimize the waist. That's a key component when you're going against some of the best competitors in the world with a small waist. The same concept applies for Samantha Jaring. Samantha did great. Her presentation was astonishing. She's beautiful on stage. But if you're running against Sydney Gillen, you're gonna have to work on that posing and minimize that waist. Both of them are very good competitors. And I think if they work on their posing, they can make an impact. On the fitness side of things, Tamara Vaughn put on a show. She started with Samba, and what I liked about her, her transitions had some fluidity to it. There was never a moment where we felt like she stopped or she paused. From the beginning to the end, she was a hurricane of energy. I think she's gonna put on a show at the Mr. Olympia. Now, we are going to the wellness, and I'm gonna mention her name again. This is no deja vu, guys. Giselle Machado wins again. Now, she has not been able to beat Franciele Matos and Angela Borges in the past. But creating this type of momentum, going to the Olympia, winning all these shows, puts everybody on notice of what she can do on the Olympia stage. Keep going, girl, I believe in you. Now, in the bikini, we have the ultimate warrior, Gabriela Mohammed. This competitor placed fourth, she placed third. She went to Pittsburgh, she tried to battle against the best and she never gave up. And she wins the Puerto Rico show. What I liked about her is that throughout her whole career, you knew she was gonna make it. You knew she was determined and she made it. Gabriela, congratulations. You are the ultimate warrior in a tough bikini division. Now moving on to Korea, Monster Zim. Guys, pay attention to the events in Asia. Some of the freakiest bodybuilders in genetics are coming from Asia. And we had Mohammed Ansul from Jordan winning the bodybuilding. He's not the biggest. He will not be the biggest on that lineup but his lines are beautiful, beautiful lines. His conditioning was great. He's kind of like a Rafael Brandão from the Middle East. So I think he's gonna fare nicely with some of these guys that have nice lines at the Mr. Olympia. Now in the classic physique, we had Jehan Park. This was maybe the most impressive competitor at the Monster Zim. 
His separation on his quads, he has huge legs. The best set of abs I've seen in a long time. Conditioning, this guy is great and I think he can make an immediate impact. Another competitor that just blew me out of the water was the men's physique guy, Juhan He from China. Perfect abs, chest conditioning. He was emotional when he won the show. Guys, for these competitors coming from Asia, having the opportunity to win their qualification, this means the world for them. And now we're going to see some of the best genetics from Asia coming into the United States. Now, with the ladies, we had Jin Bin Park. She won the bikini. She's been to the Olympia. She's an experienced competitor. I think she was the favorite going in, and she really made a count. Now, you talk about wellness and you think about the Puerto Ricans, the Brazilians, the Americans, but Hannah Son won the wellness there. Her conditioning was great, she has muscularity, but if she wants to battle against some of these heavier girls on the bottom, she's gonna have to add some muscle on the legs and glutes. I want you to start paying attention to the Asian events in India, in Korea, in Singapore, we might be seeing some of the next stars from Asia very soon in the Olympia stage. Now, moving back here to the United States, Dallas Pro. I wanna talk to you about a bikini competitor who I had never heard of, and she won the entire event. Actually, she turned pro 2021 at the Nationals. Jordan Fisher, this super blonde, came in and just beat 20 girls in Dallas. She just turned pro and now she's going to the Olympia in one of the hardest years to qualify for the Olympia. Guys, this is kind of unheard of. And if this girl makes an immediate impact, you have to look at her back uh, competitive career and say everything happened too fast for her because she's really, really good. In the wheelchair division, the handsome, good looking guy, and I love him, Bradley won again. This guy has always impressed me, but this time he added some, some tremendous mass on the front double biceps on the side chest. If he adds the mass on his back double biceps, then he can start looking at Harold and say, hey, I might not be the most massive guy, but if I beat you on conditioning, then we got a game. I love Bradley Sazik. He's a warrior, and what he's done in the last couple months by adding this muscle is impressive. Now, going to Las Vegas, Nevada, I was there at the Patriots. We had a rematch, Issa Piscini against Ashley Kowasser, and Issa wins again. They're gonna be battling for years to come. Issa from the front and that small waist is just hard to beat. And then you get Ashley from the back, she's got the perfect glutes. The key question, when they battle against each other is who closes the gap on the poses that she loses. And Issa is doing a great job on the back pose. She might not beat Ashley, but she's kind of shortening what she does on the back pose, not making Ashley beat her by that much. What Ashley needs to do is the opposite. Let's close the gap on the front pose. Now, pay attention to this competitor from Brazil. Her name is Malu Duarte. If Ashley and Issa were not there, she would win this show. Malu has been a pro for a long time, and we've been telling her, you have not nailed yet. We can only wonder the day you nail your conditioning. Same thing as Hassan Mustafa. She did it, and she looked incredible. Tiny little waist. She can hang with Issa from the front. Yes, that's how good this competitor is. We are now getting to the final stretch of the qualifications, and the focus is who can make an impact in the Mr. Olympia. And guys, I want you to start paying attention to the events in Asia, because we might be surprised the people coming from that continent and surprising at the Mr. Olympia. I won't miss this for a second. I'll see you at the Mr. Olympia. Wow.